Hi, I'm Jenny Freeman, and I'm a senior at Omaha Central. <laughs> when I first saw you, I thought you were dead. Unmoving blood pouring down your face, glass still cracking outward from the point where your head hit the windshield. Your beat up 1988 pickup didn't have airbags. I wondered if you had kids. If there would be a three-year-old who'd get picked up from daycare by a crying mother and be too young to remember your face. If there would be a teenager who'd lose their support system. I wondered if you had a wife, if you at least had a dog. I wondered who it was that I had just taken from the earth. And when my best friend dragged me, sobbing to the bus bench, I sat down and prayed. I begged for your life as they tried to untangle you from the truck. And I realized then, while seeing the other cars whiz by, we're all so tangled up in our own lives, so eager to move on, we just leave those who are hurt in the dust. I can remember the smell of the coffee that had spilled all over my leg, the same drink I get every Wednesday morning on the way to my school's poetry club. I can remember the smell of the rain on pavement. I saw through tears the blur of red and blue lights. I had to ask my friend five times if you were dead before the no could register. Yes, 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 no. You now have no memory of the accident, but I remember every detail. I remember the moment I knew we were going to hit. I remember the instant fear for my best friend in the passenger seat who had had her feet up on the dash where the airbags would be. I remember while my car was spinning, my head was too, with the thought of what it must have done to her. I could picture her skull being crushed in by her own knees. No, no, no. When we stopped, I was gasping for air, grasping for her. No. When she coughed, even through the smoke and the powder, I could suddenly breathe. Yes. Later, she said something made her put her feet down about two minutes before the accident. I say it was God. I can remember that panic set in because our doors wouldn't open, but gratitude was there too because we were alive. I remember every detail, and I'm glad you don't have to. And I'm sorry the accident happened. Every day, I take the same route to school, and at that intersection, I wonder about you. I hope sometimes you wonder about me. I hope that every time you get behind the wheel, the first thing you do is turn on your lights the way that my heart still skips a beat every time a traffic light turns yellow. Every day when I pass the place where Northwest Radio meets Decatur, I look for remnants of us, for chips of paint, shards of glass, drops of blood, but there is nothing. We were just another of the countless accidents at that very intersection. We experienced something life altering and yet we made no mark on the world. We are all just driving by, going on and on, heading for disaster, passing someone else's tragedy every day. You and I, we hit disaster head on, and still we drive. We keep going. When I first saw you, I thought you were dead. I want you to know how happy I am that you're not. <laughs>